Done with the perkies, I don't even feel like it's working. I was playing the bench, I was lurking on the block where they plotting no murking. You don't even know I was. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy He Got Heat coming at y'all with the heat. And today, I got a video on if I can make a homemade sneaker cleaner that will work on these beat down pair of Roshis here. I'm talking about these bad boys is beat. You know, I had, um, went and jumped in a whole bunch of mud yesterday. I actually for ended up forgetting to record it, but, um, let's see if I can make a homemade sneaker cleaner that will be able to clean these back to looking almost brand new. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some dish soap. You know, dish soap has all that good stuff you need, but you don't wanna add too much. You wanna add just a little bit. Not too much. You can, you can always add more, but you can never take out. I have some Resolve All Stains Laundry Stain Remover. Two, for, two formulas to remove all types of stains. Stuff here. And uh, we're going to put this in. Put a little bit into. You know, drop a like. And uh, if this, if this um, you know, ends up working out, everyone drop a like. You know, you should actually, if this ends up working out, this might be my new method. I might stop spending money on crepping all them expensive shoe cleaners. All right, next I got here is Double Cleaning Power Mr. Clean Concentrated Multi-Purpose Cleaner. You know, put a little bit of this, not too much again, as I say. But you want to have warm water. I forgot to say that first. You want warm water. So put a little bit of that in. And I'm going to be using a toothbrush because I can't find, I still can't find any of my brushes. So you're going to want to be using warm water, Then, like I always say, you want to use warm water. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down with the uh, rag and see if I can get... No, this ain't going to work. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go put these in the sink, so um, I'll catch y'all there. Alright, YouTube, I'm back. and I'm about to, I just put these in the sink here. I'm just going to give them a quick little rinse down to, you know, get off that excess grease and grime that's on here. I have these look, bad boys looking clean, boy. You know, if anybody wants these, I'll sell them to you. They're like a size nine and a half. No one wears them anymore. These are my little brothers like three years ago. So if anybody wants them, I'll sell them to you for like 20 bucks. Alrighty, just got to make sure you get a nice little rinse down before you start. Alrighty. Alright, so I'm gonna let these sit for a little while so they could dry out and um I'll catch you when I'm um I'll catch you when they're done drying. Alright YouTube, I'm back. I just let them dry for a little and you know they're still pretty beat down and worn out. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the laces. You can remove the laces before you just did the I was gonna think about removing them first, but you know they're kinda dirty too, so but I have a method that um I'm gonna put in this video on how I clean my laces. So uh, stay tuned for that. But um let me just remove these laces right quick. I'll hit you back when I'm done removing the laces. All right, YouTube, I just finished removing the laces. As you can see, got the laces right here. And um, what next thing you're gonna need is a water bottle. Um, hold up, I'll be right back. All right, YouTube, so once you get your water bottle, you're gonna wanna have at least half the bottle filled. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put the same exact stuff that you put in there, but whatever you wanna put in here, I usually put the stain remover for sure. A little bit of that in you know this is gonna um be for your laces so especially this is really good for white laces i'll probably do a video on cleaning the white laces like this so then you're gonna want to put in some of this stuff i forget what it's called already you want to put some dish soap all right so then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to grab your laces and you know your dirty laces these are pretty dirty but you can't see because they're like a gray color you're going to want to put them in here. You're going to want to put them um, like this. Alright, so once you got them in here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shake it up. It doesn't matter what kind of water you have in here. So you're going to want to shake it up a little bit. See, it kind of looks like if you were to shake iced tea. And you're just going to want to let them sit. So I'll just leave them there for the rest of the video. 
why do, why uh, clean these shoes. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this shoe first. So I'm gonna just get to scrubbing it. Oh yeah, this stuff's coming off like a beauty. This stuff actually might be the new wave, bro. You know, hit me up. I might start bottling this stuff up and selling it for the low. You know, your toothbrush might get a little dirty, so you might want to get like a cup of water or something. I'm probably gonna do that. But um, look already. I've been um, scrubbing for about. I did one little scrub layer, and look how clean that got right there. Alrighty, so um, all right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna time lapse me um cleaning both shoes. Well, I'm gonna time lapse me clean the first shoe. Then I'll show you that I'll do a time lapse of cleaning the other shoe, and um, I'll catch you when the time lapse is over. <laughs> YouTube. So this is how you're gonna want to clean the laces on these shoes. So what you're gonna do is you know you're gonna want to have it set a bottle for I say about an hour. So then after that you're gonna want to you know open the bottle. You want to pour it out. See as all that dirt comes out and grime and everything. And if the laces come out, it's fine. Just put them back in. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to fill it back up with some water. And while you're filling it up with water, you know you want to let it overflow so like you get all the bubbles out here. As you can see, you know get the bubbles out. You know as you fill it up here. And you're gonna wanna just rinse it out a couple times and like the laces will come out pretty pretty darn near perfect clean. But um I'll show you after this clean right here. Then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna run them air dry, you know. You could put them in um the washing machine, but I I don't really mess with that because like you know you mess up the laces. But um it just all depends on how you wanna do it, man. So as you can see the laces are pretty clean. Then after I take them out the bottle, I like you know just Make sure the bottle's empty, and then um, just get the laces in my hand, and just cut my hand, and just put them under the water and squeeze, just to get that excess, you know, soapy stuff out. And then after that, you just want to put them to dry, and that's been it. I'll see you at the end of the custom. All right, so what's good, YouTube? I'm back, and I just finished. Um the um, cleaning. I actually had forgot to show you all the first shoe when it was done and then to do the time lapse on the second shoe. That is actually my fault, but um, they came out pretty clean. I'm actually not happy. The homemade shoe cleaner wasn't as good as I thought it'd be, or maybe I didn't work as hard enough. You know, it's still dirty, like right here, right here. You know, the bottoms came out, you know. I mean, this shoe was pretty dirty when it first started. If y'all go back, you know, I'll probably insert a picture or something here. But they were pretty dirty when they first started. So for, for it just being a homemade sneaker cleaner, it actually did a pretty good job here. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I've seen better. But um, I might do a comparison to Crep or to like Rejuvenator to like a highly clean company. But um, I'm using a different pair of shoes. I think it might be the shoes too that I used. But um, you know, it wasn't actually as how I planned it to be. Sorry if you hear any background noise. I'm actually outside right now because um, in my house my mom is vacuuming, so I just thought I'd bring it outside right quick. And you know, as the cars go by, they're looking at me. Uh, yeah, it's it's whatever. I don't care. You know. So it's been your boy. He got heat coming at y'all. The heat. Like and com I comment, you know, hit me up if you want me to clean your shoes. I have Crep, I have Rejuvenator, I have Angelus, I have all those cleaning kits and stuff. But I just want to try and see if this um, homemade shoe cleaner would work. And it actually works pretty good, so, you know, hit me up if you want me to clean your shoes. You know, if you live in my area or if you're trying to ship them to me, you know, I'll work on you with shipping everything. Hit me up on, like, Snapchat or Instagram about that. I'll probably charge, like, $10 for a pair and, like, you know, just, you know, other than that, it's been your boy He Got Heat and um, I'm out. I'm not a regular person. I'm not a regular person.